All right, guys, so I am at the thrift store again, and I know I said I probably wouldn't come here before I moved, but I actually, because I was packing stuff, I actually separated some things to donate. So since I was here, I might as well come in and see what they have. And another porcelain doll section. I mean, look at this, it's pretty filled. But, and so I'm not, I don't know if I wanna dig through all this, because it's a lot, but I did notice this doll here. I thought she was here. I wonder if it is the same doll or if it's a doll that's similar. I think it might be a doll that's similar because the other one I think, well actually she has a stain, so it might be the same doll. Interesting that she's back here again. So it's a Madame Alexander, but I think it's a more modern one, but she is an Alice. Um, but I don't know. Uh, and up here, we have the same figure. So yeah, so they do have a lot of stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna dig for this. I'll think about it. Uh, and then I'll go check the other sections to see what else they have. All right, so here's the front of the store. And this is what they have. Um, I wonder if this is like one of those American Girl type babies. I'm not 100% sure. And this doll has been here forever. But yeah, nothing really that I'm interested in. All right, so I'm at the fashion doll section and it's pretty picked over i mean it is sunday afternoon so there's not much left here uh, they do have what doll is this i feel like i remember seeing this doll line but i can't remember what that is they do have those i think like souvenir type dolls um like this is i don't know this one is very lightweight it's Oh, it's a craft type doll, okay. They do have, oh look, there's another fakey one. So if I look at these properly. Elena, oh, this poor doll. Look at her legs. Let's see if I can see the face on her hair. is pretty though. The Barbie. An Olsen twin doll. I have some Monster High here. This one, Alpharetta, I think. Uh, but I noticed what they did is they have been splitting up. She has a really pretty face, actually. If she had an articulated body, I'd probably take it. You know, I rarely find... Um, these are cute, but... I don't really feel like a little one. She has clothes on, but her neck is broken. But, um, let's see. Oh, it's just family hearts, but I already have her. So I did kind of previously went through this because, um, as I was coming in, I noticed there was like a reseller. Oh, look. Look at this. I'm picking her up because she has clothes. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all this because. As I said, I'm moving in. My husband's gonna kill me for more stuff. I mean, he's pretty good about, you know, he's very supportive of my hobby, but, you know, we're trying to save money because we're in this process of moving and everything. Uh, so I'll see, but um, yeah, as I was saying, um, when I had come in, what happened was this one guy, I was dinosaur, um, he was picking up a whole bunch of Zoom Zooms. Like, looking at his card, I'm pretty sure he's a reseller, so. You know, I don't even know if he came here before. But look what I have in my cart so far. Oh, I'm definitely going to get her. She has clothes on. Interestingly, her body seems very loose. Like, very lightweight, actually. But this looks like a real Barbie. Two ninety nine. That's a good deal for her, considering she has all her clothes and her hair is in very good condition. Uh, so, yeah. So, I think I'm going to get her. And I actually, because of the latest stuff, I did get a coupon. So, 20% off coupon. Look, this is like an old school Barbie. I mean, her hair is not in the best condition, but I'm probably going to take her because she's so, you know, vintage-like. So, definitely going to get her. Uh, this one also looks like an older superstar Barbie. And same goes for this one. Malibu Barbie, so I definitely want to get her. And the prices here today are actually pretty good. Um, but the single dolls are doing like $2.99, which I guess is not so terrible. 
She looks like a teen skipper type dog, but I maybe I'll get her. This one I'm on the fence about, but her face is so unique. And she comes with an Esmeralda, though. This one is not in the best shape, so I'll have to double check, make sure all her limbs are here. And look, guys. We have a couple of these here. So I'm definitely going to get them. Um, and then more, like Teresa's, because you know you guys know that I'm obsessed with them. And then this one, she's really pretty, so I'm thinking about her. And it's $2.99 for a doll that's kind of molded on body, so I don't know. I'll think about it. But yeah, well, that's what I got in my cart so far. I'm gonna go to the big doll section. Oh look, there's a loose doll in here. Let's see who it is. Oh, this doll, okay. So I'll check, oh look, a Hushin plushie. I actually used to have this and I sold a long time ago. $2.99, that's not bad actually. Um, but yeah, so I'll go to the big doll section now and see what else they have. I'm at the big doll section and they have, like, they're pretty well stocked up. As you guys can see, like, they do have a lot of stuff, just nothing that I'm really looking for so far. I mean, actually, my mom did find one thing, which is a small world France doll. Of course, she just doesn't have her shoes, but she has her outfit, so I think I'm going to take her if I can find a price on her. Oh, here it is. Oh, $12.99. Okay, I'll think about it because I also found this at the game section. She's moving boxes, even though the box is about not the best condition, but 10 bucks. Um, I also found these like nesting type dolls, but these are made of wood. But I mean, I might take her. I don't take them. I don't know. $3.99. I'll have to think about it, guys. Look, so they have these kind of vintage looking type dolls but they're not they're very lightly plastic like this big baby one she's really heavy $8.99 I don't know what brand she is but yeah they have quite a few like vintage type dolls like this looks like it could be yeah this is a Mattel doll um, and this one looks like an our generation boy I also have her, but I think her hair has been cut. Otherwise, I'd probably take her because I do want an animator doll to kind of put in these rompers that I have. Like, this one also looks a little bit vintage, but I don't think she has a brand or anything. Same for this one. If you guys know any of these dolls, let me know, but I don't think I'm going to take them. Like a Moana doll, animator. I love her little feet with the sand. It's so cute. Another one of those packs. Like those. Oh, and they have one. I think these are like uh, the breast key Disney dolls and these are a Rapunzel one. Probably want her just for her outfit, to be honest. But they have some, like a lot of stuff. Like, look at this kitchen play set. That's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, lots and lots of stuff. Anna doll. Oh, baby ones. Some cabbage patch. Got a few cabbage patch here today. Which one is this one? I don't know. Reminds me of like of a rainbow bright type doll, but I'm not 100% sure. Is this the baby alive ones? Um, but yeah, see, this one looks vintage as well. I wonder what brand she is. Let's see if I can figure it out. Okay, this one I don't know. But yeah, she has kind of like that 80s, 90s type face. I'll look, another cabbage patch. But yeah, but lots of stuff here. Um, gonna have to go through my cart. This little kitchen place set, really cute. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to gonna look down there because there's more stuff down there. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Um, but yeah, 
lots of stuff for Sunday. You know, just to figure out um, how I'm gonna be able to take everything. I mean, I would like to, cause I got some good stuff in my car, but we'll see. All right, guys, so I'm back home. As you can see, I ended up getting a lot of stuff. I was not expecting to find all this, to be honest, because it was a Sunday afternoon. Typically, by the time that I go there, um, you know, people have bought everything already, but they still had some good stuff. So I'm really excited. Uh, I did have a 20% off coupon because I had donated some stuff. So everything here ended up costing $47, um, which sounds like a lot. But at the same time, you know, I got a lot of dolls out of this. You know what I mean? So let's get started uh the first thing here is i had found a bag uh, with doll clothing for 2.99 this was at the like little baggy like toy section i didn't record it because there was a lot of people in that area um so you know typically i'm always a little bit afraid to pick up these bags because a lot of times it's just you know very like clothes in very bad shape but they actually had a few items here that are usable um, there are a couple of pants that I think are Bratz pants and this top as well. I think might be a Bratz top. Then there's this little tiny dress, which I have no idea which doll would fit in this, but it's really cute. There's this veil here, which looks like a bridal veil. Then there are these pants. They are Barbie pants. There's a label inside. They look vintage, uh, but the pants does need uh, some sewing in the front here. There's a Dr. Barbie a lab coat, this princess dress, which is in pretty decent shape, so I'll be able to use it on another doll. Then there's this thing here, which looks like a saddle or something, but I'm not 100% sure what that is. This shirt looks like a teddy bear, maybe, type shirt. There's this wrap. And a couple of pants, which are not in good shape, like this one. And this one was in terrible condition, so... Anyway, um, I mean, it was still kind of worth it because it was less than $2.99. I had the coupon and, you know, I got some Bratz clothing out of that, which is great. You know, whenever I find dolls now, I'll have, you know, some clothing to put on them. Then uh, I picked up this Teresa doll. I'm obsessed with Teresa dolls because Teresa was my favorite <laughs> character, you know, out of the Barbie brand growing up. So every time I see them, I want to get them. So this one's $2.99. She does have a dress on, so... And she looks to be in pretty good condition, just needs a cleaning. Then uh, I found these Russian like nesting dolls, it was $3.99. Um, I don't know if these are like souvenir type dolls, but I've always wanted one of these like sets and I never really picked up. There was one one time at the thrift store which they wanted a lot of money for. So this one I thought was a pretty, pretty good amount of money. Uh, look at the little one. So I'm excited about that. It's pretty cute uh, little addition. Then uh, we have this doll here, which I think might be a teen skipper, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can let me know. Uh, but, but I do have like a blonde version of this doll. And so like with the sculpt. So I was excited to get a brunette. So this one was $2.99. I don't know if she's wearing her original clothes. You guys maybe can let me know if you guys know who she is. Then this bag here was $2.99 for these two. Um, this Marada doll, unfortunately, is not in the best condition. Um, this doll was the reason why I picked up the bag. I just thought she had a very interesting face and, like, hair color. Uh, so let me know if you guys know who she is. Uh, her head is a little bit loose, so I'll have to figure out something about that. Then here we have a couple of uh, Superstar uh, Barbies, $2.99 for the bag. Uh, I picked them up. Typically, I don't pick up, like, the blondes, you know, but they looked really vintage to me, like, maybe from the late 70s, early 80s, so that's why I picked them up. This one looks like maybe her hair was cut. I'm not 100% sure, so you guys can let me know. And sorry about the noise, guys. My family's in the other room, and this apartment's pretty, you know, you can hear everything. Then we have this doll, which I'm super excited about. She was only $2.99, and she's in great condition. And she's basically complete. Like, she even has her shoes. Her hair is nice. Her face is clean. I mean, this was an awesome find. Super excited about her. I think she's one of the dolls of the world type dolls. I just don't know which country she is. have to do some research and figure out if this is how her crown hair goes. 
Then we have this bag. It was $3.99, and I picked it up for the Malibu Barbie. Another Malibu Barbie for my collection. I probably have like three of them now, I think. Or four, maybe? And then um, this doll here, I'm probably going to donate her back. Then we have a couple of the Mycene Barbies. They look to be in pretty good condition. You just need a cleaning. This bag was $2.99 for her, and then this one was $3.99. And uh, her dress is a Anna dress from Frozen. So I'm going to use this dress to actually dress an Anna doll that I have from the Disney store. So I'm excited about these. I think I now have like four Mycene Barbies in my collection. And then my mother found this girl here. She's uh, It's a small world uh, Disney doll. Uh, this is France. So she's in great condition, really. She has her full outfit. The only thing she's missing are her shoes. So I'm excited about that. You know, in, in hindsight, I should have picked up that um, the China one that once was available. I think she might have been the same price, if not even a little bit cheaper. And I just didn't want to spend the money on her. But I probably should have because she also had her full outfit. And then finally, I found this Pilgrim Barbie. She was $9.99. She's in her box. Um, I'm pretty sure she has everything in there. Um, the only thing is that she's a little bit dirty. But, you know. Just needs a little bit of cleaning. But I'm excited about this because she was in the uh, board game section. So sometimes, you know, I have learned to look in there because they do put some like doll play sets and things there sometimes. So yeah. So anyway, guys, that was my haul for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And, you know, like I said, there may be a break in between videos um, until after I move. So hopefully you guys will stick around and just, you know, keep checking or subscribe and turn on a notification so that you know whenever I post my next video. And, um, you know, I have finally reached 5,000 subscribers. So I'm really excited about that. So I will be drawing a winner, uh, to the giveaways, you know, in September after I move, hopefully. And, um, you know, I will, um, post on Instagram so if you want to check if you won just make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see who won uh, the Dow doll so anyway guys thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time ciao